Hi everyone, something a bit different for you this week. I went to the Everything Electric show at London Excel today and I bring you highlights of the visit. But before I start, a quick public service announcement. Unfortunately, due to engineering works, the Elizabeth line is now closed for the weekend between Paddington and Abbey Road. If you plan to go to the show yourself, the alternative route is to use the Jubilee line to Canning Town and then change onto the DLR to get to Custom House. With that done, the video starts with the opening ceremony that I recorded for you in case that is of interest. However, you can use the chapter markers to skip past that if you prefer, after which, for your viewing pleasure, is the edited highlights of what is at the show this time around. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Everything Electric London. We are very, very happy to see you. Uh, we know that it's quite early in the morning and that uh, we've, we've, seen, we've seen bigger audiences at the uh, previous shows, but it's wonderful that you're here and it's not your fault. It's great. Uh, but we're just going to have a very brief rundown. Now, uh, Dan and Elliot, you've got to zoom off really quickly. So I'm going to start with you two. Highlights so Dan, highlights so far. It, we've opened and there's people here. Is that would that be a fair? Well, we just had a great, great press tour. Loads of people have come in. They're just it's quite a big space. They're not all down here yet. So thank you for finding your way here. I think there's a great. You've got a great fireside chat with Ricky coming up. We're very looking forward. We saw some really cool cars. I'll let Elliot talk to that. But I just want to say two things quickly. One of which is we're giving away that car on Saturday. That car for, for two years. Two years. <laughs> Uh, we're also giving away an e-bike and a, a bundle of My Energy Tech as well, so there'll be a QR code on the screen later so you can enter that competition. And the other thing to say is that um, thank you very much for, for coming and thank you to all the manufacturers and all the other companies that are, are here today. There is so much to see uh, and do, so I hope you have a fantastic time. Elliot, were there any particular cars that stood out for you this morning? The side of yeah, definitely the big yellow one with scissor doors over there. Um, it was an absolute thrill for me to drive that just a few months ago in, in, in Shanghai and now it's here for the audience to see it and I think test drive? You can't test drive the Cyberstep. Oh, but the other but you can pre-order it apparently. There you go. And I think this is kind of the new wave of electric vehicles that are coming out. Exciting things that people can look up to. So I'm just excited to see what your guys' opinions of the bright yellow one over there are. <laughs> the bright yellow one. Brilliant guys, what do you want to zoom off? They're off to talk to BBC Radio 4. So we're going to you. No, I don't want to. Hi, Robert. Oh, they're going to talk to BBC, BBC Radio 4. They want to talk to me. They want to talk to hey, Dan and then ask me either. Not that I'm bitter. No, none of us. We've all been dumped. It's so horrendous. It's almost as if we can't be trusted not to say dumb things into no, microphones. There might be a part of the reason. Yes, but, no, but then, yes, you, you, work, you work for BBC Radio 4 at the moment. Tell, right. Quickly tell us about your show because it's oh, great. Rare Earth, uh, Radio 4's new flagship climate and environment show is on uh, Friday lunchtime. It's, we've just finished the first series, next one's coming up. But it's kind of all the issues we talk about fully charged, but bigger, all of the wider climate environment things. But kind of the feel of fully charged, actually. So, yes, in, when it starts again in June, do give it a listen. That's Rare Earth on, on BBC Radio 4. We are totally Radio 4 this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. But also, what you've got to say when you do that is, and available on BBC Sounds. Yeah, they're very yeah. keen on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's still you working for the BBC, isn't it? <laughs> Only in the background. Um, Helen, you've just been all right. You just, just quickly tell us where you've been. You've been to some cold places and some hot places and some. Uh, hot yeah, places. so I was on a research ship in uh, the Labrador Sea, in, uh, which is in the far northwest corner of the North Atlantic, studying storms. It was horrible in November and December. Really interesting science. Um, there'll be a little bit about that actually tomorrow, because I'm going to talk a bit about that. Yeah. Uh, and then I was in Bergen actually, and the most exciting thing about Bergen is their waste disposal system. So exciting. I'm not going to tell you about because uh, you can find that out for yourself, and I promise it's true. When you look up how they, how they move their waste around the city, I promise it's true. Anyway, so I've yeah. been travelling to interesting places. So I really want, well, I'm desperate for, for, to have fully charged waste as a sub-brand where we look at how waste is done, because I just love sewers and waste disposal. It just, just gets me going, Jack. Can't help it. Every podcast descends into toilet humour. It's not podcast. toilet, it's, it's waste management. Goodness. Waste is the resource of the future. It's the resource this of the future. We'll be going. mining our landfill in the future. Jack, you've got a lot to do this weekend. You're going to be very busy. What is, are there some highlights jumping out for you at the moment? Three words, Robert. Yeah. Inflatable assault course. 
Just spotted it over there in that corner. I'll be taking all challenges across the weekend. Uh, and if you beat me, you can have my car. Uh, no, there lots of cars. There's a lot of cars yes. there. Elliot's already shouted out the yellow Cyberstar over there, which yeah. is just unbelievable. But we've got, this is the biggest test drive program of electric vehicles ever, ever, anywhere. There has ever. never been one place where you can test drive more different electric cars in one go. And as those of you who drive electric know, there is, you know, we can say as many interesting things about them as possible, but there's no substitute for just getting in one and driving one. So come to lots of panels, talk to all the exhibitors, but drive some cars while you're here because that is one of the things that this show is all about. And, on, yeah, and also tell your mates and your friends and people who might be more, slightly more sceptical about it to come along and have a look because if they're in the London area, it, you know, there really is... I mean, I know a lot of them are already booked, so it's a very popular thing. And we know from other experience that the, the test drives is a really big aspect of the shows. Um, Imogen, other than waste disposal and toilet humour, is there any area... Well, is there, I've got to just quickly say the, the team WhatsApp group, when I was uh, travelling here yesterday, was just full of stuff about the assault course. And I'm going, what are they on? What's wrong with them? Well, that was the, the main... It wasn't about where the exhibitors were or anything. It was just the assault course and the competition. Well, I did pack my leggings, just in case, uh, so I've got my PE kit. Um, but aside from that, we get to carry these clipboards all weekend and look very important and very busy whilst doing so. Our step counts are going to be absolutely enormous because this exhibition is so enormous. But I think the thing I'm most excited about is getting into the, the nitty gritty and the various debates and panel discussions. I think I've got ten over the right. next three wow. days. Um, it's going to be amazing. And obviously, it's just wonderful to engage in, in loads of lovely conversations with, with all of you here as well. So, it's going to be good. Very good. Now, Ricky, you've just arrived, literally, very recently, from the west coast of the United States of America, where it is very green and verdant at the moment. Yes, yes it actually feels a lot like this. Right. Rainy and kind of cold. Very good. But is there a particular thing that you're looking forward to? I mean, obviously, our talk is going to be an absolute highlight. Absolute highlight. <laughs> I think Imogen forgot because it's so early in the morning, but we are making cheesecake in the zero carbon kitchen. That's true. What could go wrong? I hope our liability insurance is, is really paid up and, and topped off, but that should be fun. And we're doing live car reviews. Yeah. Which is a new and This first. is a first. We've never done this before. It should be fun. It should yeah. be fun. And also, I think it's, it's worth pointing out that I'm not doing any of the live car reviews because they know that they there would be some expletives as I work out. Anyway, yes, that's good. So the professional people who really know how to do uh, descriptions and, uh, of cars are doing that, uh, but I'm not. But um, uh, there was something else on my mind, but I've now completely forgotten it. Jack, you were going to say something. I was just going to say on the live EV arena, it's in that corner over there. This is something we've never done before. Yes. We haven't even practiced it, to be completely honest with you. So please come and watch our live EV reviews. Be very supportive and clap lots because we're all terrified of how it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, to be completely honest with you, it's going to be... Or, like fun chaos, I think, is what you can expect from those. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to come watch yours this morning. Oh god, I think that's even more pressure. I'm definitely the sacrificial lamb on this one, and uh, if you see me crying and rocking in a corner, then you, um, you know why. <laughs> Are you first? I'm first, 10.45, so. Very unfair. Yes, you can, you can gently and politely heckle. <laughs> no tomatoes. In a loving and supportive way. But I think also, I think I do want to also, as we just mentioned it briefly, but the cooking demonstration. So the guys from Bosch, it's, those are amazingly popular. We've, we've been doing them for quite a while with them now. They're running, the kitchen is run off, uh, I'm not sure what the car is this year. Is it, is it a BYD? I think sure. um, six. six. Yeah, yeah. It's an Ionic 6. Oh, it's an Ionic 6. That's right, I've seen it, it's an Ionic 6, I should have said that. Uh, so we actually run the entire kitchen and have all the equipment off the car, which is the, one of the important points of it, and we're all doing it. So tomorrow I'm cooking pancakes. Is that with you, Joe? I can't remember who I'm doing it with. Does it, but someone. I think it's you do it. Is, I have just had confirmation that it is in fact me. It is pancakes. We're doing pancakes tomorrow, which will... There's another element of danger for the audience if we toss them, I suppose, because they could go anywhere. Who knows? But so they're great fun, and also if you get the chance to watch the the proper uh, uh, cooks, the, uh, the, the the Bosch boys, they're actually really good and they make really nice food. But you're not allowed to eat it because of insurance. But it's nice to look at, and you do get you can smell it as well. <laughs> and you can cook it at your home, at home for yourself afterwards. You can cook you it can at home. Do your own cooking. No, they're really. I, I, I actually use the Bosch recipe book a lot, and it's really really good. 
There are a number of cars at the show that I hadn't seen before in the metal, including the MG Cyberstar. The Ford Explorer. The Kia EV9. The BYD Seal. The spicy new Hyundai Ioniq 5N. The fairly keenly priced Volvo EX30. It's not as cheap as I was hoping, but this might be a high trim variant, I suppose. The smart, silly named three? No, smart, we're not playing that game. And the Emoda 5. The rather sexy 67 by Charge Cars. I thought the prototype of the Helix Cargo was interesting. I'm always drawn to small EVs, which this time around includes the Microlino and the MEV City, the Do Good Zero, the Caris TC2, but it was this stunning little beauty that won rather a lot of my time, the Silence SO4. It's based around a clever removable battery system and is cute to boot. Some of the manufacturers have turned out, including BYD. Tesla joined by the UK Owners Club. Hyundai. And Kia. There are other attractions, including live car reviews to watch. And a big test drive programme, although I'm not sure how far you'll get in central London. There are some converted classics. As well as customizations to modern cars. Fans of various shapes and sizes. The usual two theatres and a programme of live events within them. There are electric bikes and personal mobility devices too. including a small space to give one a try. Then there is a whole host of home heating companies to talk to. as well as solar and home storage companies. And even SpaceX selling Starlink.
And we mustn't forget the Energy Advice Zone, where you can book to speak to a specialist. But I have to say, it was the Silence SO4 that rather stole my heart and may get visited again tomorrow. Yes, I think I will be coming and seeing you again tomorrow. If you choose to go to the show yourself, don't forget that the eastern end of the Elizabeth Line is closed for the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining me.